Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. And what a interesting collection of ingredients we have today. So, pig club then. Obviously, you saw the first video. I cut up that pig. I prepared the offal ready for faggots. And this is what we're making today. So, what have I got then? So, a pig's pluck, as I've mentioned before, made up of the lungs the heart, the liver, and I'm gonna put in a spleen as well, and I've got a few extra spleens. Now, traditionally, faggots were made with all the remnants of meat left over, so bits of pork, bits of bacon, even rinds. So, I've got a bit of meat there. There's a collection of bacon and pork in there. There's a pound of meat. These lungs weigh a pound, the heart, and the livers weigh two pounds, so there's four pounds, and I've got a pound of spleens. So, to that, I'm going to add, here is a pound of rusk, sausage making rusk, traditionally made with rusk, and I've got a pound of onion. So, all together, that mixture weighs seven pounds. And then here, I've got this beautiful core fat, this lace fat, crepinette, whatever you want to call it, just look at that and we will wrap all our faggots in that not only will they look amazing but that will naturally melt away into the faggot and it holds it together it's just a wonderful wonderful thing can you see that look it's beautiful and then of course the all important spice blend so for our spice blend then we're going to mix this first i have got one ounce of white pepper, two ounces of salt. Now this is the tricky bit. Trying to get your scales to go as low as possible, I'd say a good tablespoon of dried thyme, a good tablespoon of dried sage, and then the all important nutmeg. So I'm just gonna put what, tablespoon in. Now what I wanna do with that is mix that up so it's all one uniform color. So just take your time. You could put this in a bag or a container and shake it up, but you do want an even mix. And the beauty of this is if you make up a decent sized batch, not too big though obviously because spices and herbs lose their flavor, you can keep some in an airtight container for your next batch. But that is our spice blend almost mixed. You can always add a bit more, you can't take it away. So, spice mix, nearly blended. Next, onto the meat. Now this happens really really quickly it's just a case of cutting up your meat so it can go through your mincer so very simply you know just go through it i mean these are as light as air no nutritional value like i've said in an old old faggot video they just add good texture make your faggots nice and light and of course, bulks it out, but most of all, you're using all your piggy. So, I'm happy with that. The heart, I've trimmed this up already, but that, nice pieces to go through the mincer. And then the same with the liver. Go through that very, very quickly. And then these spleens, this is where the coal fat is attached. I'm gonna leave that on because it will just melt in. It will all help. That is pretty much ready to go through the mincer on a coarse plate. So we will put through our meat. 
we will put through our onions on top and then with our rusk we will just see what the texture is like you know we want it quite sticky but we don't want it wet you know we want to be able to form it into balls but on the flip side we don't want it dry so i'll set up the mincer and we'll get this ghoulish tray of goodness through how beautiful is that everything bar the squeal my friends right then let's turn and burn with my wonderful tray spade mincer from good old Westenfelder. So we're just going to get it through then. Okay then, so that's all our offal through. Next we're going to add the actual bits and bobs. No lips and assholes. Then on top of that we put our onions. Thing. Move that out the way. How good does that look? All you need to do is get your hands in. Now your hands are clean, you know where you've been, the best tool you have when cooking. So as you can see that's quite loose so when I said we've got to judge our rusk this is what we're going to do so I'm just going to put that much in to start with bearing in mind we've got a pound to play with what I will do when I've got my desired texture is send it completely through the mincer one more time just to break this down a little bit more so I'm going to add a bit more still and this will start to gently soak up all the juices right I think we're going to go a bit more Let's put it all in. So there you go then, the pound of rusk is in. Now you can always add a bit of water to take this down. But I'm going to send it through the mincer again and that will do the trick. It's looking beautiful. But next we need to add our spice and herb mix. That smells beautiful as it is. Honestly, fresh offal like this, it's the way forward. It's beautiful, a great way to use it. Now, I may have said this before, but when I was a younger man in my younger days, in my 20s, I used to work for a guy called Henry Deus in St. John's in Worcester. Quite possibly one of the kings of making small goods. He was predominantly years ago with pork butcher, what he couldn't do with pork and the remnants of pork ain't worth knowing. And this smell here now reminds me of him. He'd be up in his back room weighing out all his ingredients. It's a shame he took all his recipes to the grave, as they do. Such is life. Just a genius man. So there is my seasoning in. Again, just get your hands in. I'll send this through one more time. It's stiffened up nice now. 
like I said, you can always add a bit more water. Just have a look at that. Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's get it through one more time. Right then my friends, now it's time for the fun part to portion these out. I use this portioning device. You want about four, six ounces. Portioning device. Some say it's an ice cream scoop. Surely not. So, very simple. I've got a bit frying off. Now I've cheated and fried a bit off, off camera, and they just taste absolutely amazing. Just work your way through your mix and then we'll wrap them in the coal fat, which is fun. So I've just fried one off. They are just so good. Mm. A little bit of brown sauce. They are just superb. You wouldn't even know that was awful. Mm. Last one. Look at that. Add that one to that one there. So I'm just going to only gently fettle them. Just to pull them together a bit. And we'll start wrapping them in that beautiful core fat. They taste absolutely amazing. And if you don't like offal, try these. Trust me, you will change your mind. Seasoning is spot on. Texture is spot on. It's a win-win, baby. I just want to get some in the oven. I want some more. Right, that's that one fettled. Don't ask me how, but I've got sauce in me microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, the fun part. Let me just show you this stuff now. This is that lovely core fat. Just wonderful stuff. And we need, need to take each faggot and then wrap it in this wonderful stuff. Quite simple, just like that. Be quite sparing if you can. That's what they look like. Isn't it wonderful? Try and eke it out unless you can get an absolutely shed load of the stuff so many uses
and just work your way through your pile. And I'm going to put mine ready in a baking tray to get straight in the oven. I love how it just clings, look, naturally just wraps around. But what a beautiful looking thing that is. When you think of what we started with in that tray, you know, a tray of gore, let's not be silly about it. It was just a tray of gore. And now we are left with these just beautiful faggots. Taste absolutely superb. That's why I can't wait to get them in the oven. I fried that one bit off and it was just gorgeous. So slowly, slowly, catchy monkey, rappy faggot in your corley. God, I bet Dylan Thomas is turning in his grave. Have a look at those. So I've got my oven preheated to 180 degrees. See, spot of water in the bottom of your baking tray and then in the oven for 50 minutes. Have a look at those, eh? A million miles away from that pig's pluck. Gorgeous, I tell you. So I've been looking for an excuse to get my vintage ham stand out. That's a ham stand, not hand stand. And it's to display these beauties. Have a look at those. They smell amazing i know they taste fantastic we'll let them cool down and we'll try one how beautiful are them Dear friends, it's safe to say those were absolutely superb. I mean, I love faggots. I was raised on brains faggots. Mm. There is nothing wrong with brains faggots before we start slagging those off. I love them. But these are in a different league. Absolutely amazing. And it's hard to think when you look at that container full of guts really or vital organs that what comes out the other end is this please do give them a go so if you've liked what you've seen here today on the SRP please click subscribe when my face comes up in this corner here also check me out on my social media Facebook Scott Ree Scott Ree Project Twitter at the Scott Ree Project Instagram at the Scott Ree Project and if you're feeling generous and want to help the channel along check out my Patreon page but until next time when we carry on with Pig Club, where we will be doing a brawn, a brined brawn. I can't wait. Right, my friends, I'm going to have me another one of these, and then I'm going to lie down in the dark room. Take care, see you again.